So this is an Atari Punk console built into an old CB handset. And I built in the switch into the old switch. The old trigger cuts the sound. Then we have the pulse width adjustment and the frequency. Over here is the volume. Here we have an audio output. This is a switching plug, so when you plug something in, it cuts the speaker. And then the audio is fed out through the cable. Down here, this switch engages these two uh, uh, light dependent resistors, which are tied to both the pulse width and frequency, and it will get loud. And then also the antenna and the actual points on the light dependent resistors actually work as uh, body contacts as well as the shoulder of the jack. This is the inside of the walkie-talkie. You can see this brown board underneath was the original board. I cut it away and just left uh, the switch and the key trigger, and removed all the other components. Um, and then over here, the green board is the Atari Punk console, the main sound, and it feeds into this little board, which is just a little op-amp amplifier board. Uh, what is it, an LM386, a uh, little chip there. Um, I had to install the capacitors upside down, kind of bend them around and make everything fit. And then my controls for the pulse width and frequency. The LED comes off of the amp chip or amp, amp board. Uh, the antenna has a ground uh, body contact, I mean, over to this pot. And then the switch engages the two uh, light dependent resistors tied up to the pots up there. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and then the audio output right here. That cuts, well you can't really see in there, but it cuts the, cuts the speaker uh, feed and sends it out.